Don't get me wrong, I love commercials as much as anyone, but they're getting out of hand. I raised my credit score by eight points instantly. Boom! 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 I don't think I've been that excited about anything. Ever. Ever. Boom! Literally, like, when I hit my biggest milestone in life, a million subscribers, I was like, yeah! No, not even that. I was like, yes. That's what it was. But good golly, boost my credit score by four points and I'm losing it, baby. I'm going wild. <laughs> Imagine if David Dobrik gave out credit score boosts instead of Lamborghinis. Hey, Matthew. What's up, man? David. David. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you did not. Oh my God, 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 no way. There's what? no way. You know, Matthew, I know you've been a, you've been a really loyal friend to me and I had to do something big for you. <laughs> Matthew, are you okay? Matthew. Bro, I know you got heat the Lamborghini, but like, this is so much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you changed my life, man. Credit scores are probably the most exciting thing in the world at this point. So that ad was super accurate. Accurate. Super accurate. I think we can all relate to getting that excited about eight points on our credit score. But what about other completely not overly dramatic commercials? I can't find my key. I can't find my Game Boy. I can't find the remote. I can't find my will to live. And you can't find your keys. And the TV remote has vanished in the breeze. TV remote has vanished in the breeze. My God. Dude, no wonder you can't find your TV remote. Your place is a train wreck. <laughs> Plus, it looks like my man's about to go to work. What do you need to watch so urgently? Oh, I don't want to be late for work. I need to find the remote so I can check the traffic. Keep it up, dude. You'll be fired by week's end. Where did I park my car? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my, is that really the best, guys? Come on. Is that the best take you got on camera? She didn't even try. Oh, no. It's almost like she's being sarcastic here. Like she's just being an absolute brat. Oh, no, I lost my car again. I'm so upset. It's like she's trying to get rid of her car, actually. That's what it seems like. Just this old piece of junk. She's like, I need someone to buy me a new car. I'm gonna lose it at the grocery store today. That's what I'm gonna do. And then she says this. Where did I park my car? Oh, no. Just in case, she's gonna make it sound like she cares. Is your green grass a thing of the past? Is your lawn more bare than this? Bars! Is your green grass a thing of the past? I don't know why infomercials feel the need to rhyme everything. Literally everything. It almost seems a little forced. Is your credit score more than four? Is your TV remote missing a or um of looking like a fool when your cakes aren't cool? And why do tiny cupcakes take so long to make? There it is again! Man, I'm just gonna start talking like this in everyday life. You guys won't even recognize me. I'm about to switch up so hard in person. Hi, uh, can I get a number eight with barbecue sauce on the plate? Okay, anything else? Actually, I'll just take some McNuggets. Because it went bad. But trying to keep it fresh with plastic wrap is a pain in the... Ah! Oh my god! A pain in the what? A pain in the... Ah! Um, dispensers are messy and clumsy. Okay, no one is like this in real life. That's the thing. And if they are, I'm scared. I'm terrified. If they can't even handle washing their hands without destroying everything in their path, imagine what they would do with a, like a car or I don't know, a weapon. Infomercial actors are literally enemies to the public. I don't care what anyone says. They have to be stopped. Being slimy. Bro, look at that soap dispenser. That thing has been through war. It's as if someone put soap in their hands, scrubbed it all over, then wiped off the soap on the dispenser and walked away. Amazing carpet skates that glide, slide, or ride. Dude, is this Drake's Ghost Rider or what? I've never heard such consistency. This dude must be on rhymezone.com. Race with them, play games with them, or just cruise with them. Race with them, play games with them. Sounds like a logic song, jeez. These kids are having a fabulous time with Mr. Microphone. Fabulous time, they're literally they're brawling. There are no attaching wires, so you're free to move around. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what he's saying, but you gotta love the enthusiasm. Look at that. Look at that technique. Pure joy. Oh my god. Dude, if you mix, like, that walk with the rhyme scheme that these guys have in the infomercials, you're literally unstoppable. Try to lose like a fool because your cakes aren't cool? I don't know. Sorry. I also butchered that walk. Oh, this next one's gold, dude. Does the shoulder strap of your car cut into your shoulder? No, it, do it doesn't. Does it for you? No. Is your shoulder strap too tight and annoying? It's normally fine. I've never talked to anyone who struggles with this. Introducing the Tinny Bear. Introducing the Tinny Bear. The cute 
I'm done with the internet. That's what they used to call me in high school. Titty bear. Who's the CEO that signed off on spelling titty like that? I need to throw him a high five. That's gold. <laughs> My shoulder strap used to pull so tight I could hardly breathe. You could hardly breathe? What kind of seatbelts are you wearing here? You could hardly breathe. My God. Is it going around your neck eight times? Like, what's the issue here? <laughs> I don't understand how this is an issue. The patent pending design swivels to work from either the driver's. My guy. Look at him. Kitty. My dude's about to go to work. This is so funny. I'm buying this. Just so I can say I have a titty bear. I'm calling this number right now. This number is on the Ignite Media Solutions Network, but it is not active at this time. Please contact your network administrator. You're telling me titty bear went out of business? What does that say? I can't even read the website. Tittybear.tv. Tittybear.tv. Come on. I'm praying. I need one. Does the shoulder strap of your seat belt cause discomfort? Hello? I thought that was literally a piece of fried chicken. <laughs> okay, titty bear. Purchase. This website is literally terrible. They sold it out? These things are flying off the shelf. Dude, what? The others were sold out and these aren't available. That's one way to put it. You guys went out of business. You're not sold out. For over 100 years, we've been scrunching and folding toilet paper. Finally, there's a better way. Bro, I'm not putting that thing anywhere near my butthole. Are you serious? Where are they going with this? Sanitary paper extension arm and holder. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. It extends your reach a full 18 inches while it follows the contours of your body and comfortably cleans. I love how they just don't actually show anyone <laughs> using it. This is a great product. They're just talking so vaguely. What do you, why is it great? Why is the comfort wipe so good? I feel like this is just some weird like kink or something. A lot you to maintain your dignity. Allows you to maintain your dignity? Is wiping your butt like embarrassing now? <laughs> In private? Why is that a big deal? Beastly butt odor? <laughs> this is Doc Bottoms A Spray. The all new, all over deodorant can be used anywhere and I mean anywhere on your body. A spray your butt, A spray under your arms, you can even A spray your private. Dude, it literally looks like insect killer. Why would I spray that in my crotch? I'm sorry, I feel like infomercials are like these, like these products are people that literally are investing the last of their life savings. And they're like, you know what? I'm not gonna put my kid through school. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm gonna invest all of my money into Titty Bear. Drink a lot of water. I really have to go. People are waiting to tee off. There's no restroom out here. I've got the perfect gift. Introducing the Euro Club, the discreet sanitary solution for your urgent relief. It looks like an ordinary golf club, but contains a reservoir built into the grip to relieve yourself. The Euro Club comes with a towel and appears that you are just checking out your club. Just checking out your club, huh? I see what you did there. I see what y'all are talking about, referring to. I don't think anyone just checks out their club with a massive towel over their crotch. I've never been golfing, but this is an expectation that I have. Just checking out your club. Hey, I check out my club every time I take a wee wee. I Literally in real life have been saying, I'm gonna go take a wee wee. The only club in your bag guaranteed to keep you out of the woods. Three dudes just checking out their club by each other. This isn't okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love how they're still looking over their shoulder like. I I'm just checking out my club. Don't, don't worry about it. Do not come over here. Do not come over here. Oh my God. Tommy, what are you doing peeing on your club? I'm not peeing on my club, Martha. I'm checking it out. The Hawaii chair. The Hawaii chair, oh my god. So to see what office workers think of the Hawaii chair, we sent Aaron Lee to work. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I don't believe you. <laughs> that literally looks like torture. Imagine just trying to get some emails done and you're getting whipped around like a roller coaster. Hey Ronnie, yeah, 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 I'll get back to you in a second, right? I'm just doing the line. You can hardly call this work. With the Hawaii chair, it takes the work out of your work day. She can't even keep her body in an upright position. She's struggling just to stay like on the chair. You can sit, you can get fit, the Hawaii chair. You're just gonna have the most insane oblique on one side, and then the rest of your body's just gonna be decomposing from the actual stress that it's under all day. In conclusion, I'd buy all of these things. Man, that's enough of the internet for today. I'm done. Oh my God. My credit score just went up four points. Boo! See you next time, titty bears. Look at this. I spent the night in Morg's bedroom and he had no idea. Look at that thumbnail. I'm, my body's rejecting that at the moment. I might puke. 17 million views.
Look, I was taught to never judge a book by its cover, but 